This is David Tao with GV Wire in Fresno talking with State Attorney General Candidate Anne Marie Schubert. She is also the Sacramento County District Attorney. She's in town to campaign. And District Attorney Schubert, I'm just get right into it. We've seen smash and grab cases throughout the state. We've seen the videos. Uh, there's been a recent video in Fresno of people uh, just blatantly, brazenly breaking into a local pharmacy, going to the liquor cabinet. How are you going to prevent such crimes? And how are you going to prosecute them? What's your, what's your recommendation for local district attorneys to prosecute them? Well, you, first off, you have to have the tools, which we all know that Prop 47 and 57 have taken away the tools. But you also have to um, stop the early releases of people when they when are actually held in, holding them accountable. So what we've seen in California is a, is a number of laws. I call it a tsunami of public policies that have really come together. And now, now the criminals really know that they can get away with a lot of things. So you need a real prosecutor to be your attorney general. That's me. I've been in the business 31 years. And so for me, it's about holding people accountable. It's having good laws and good public policy. And when we actually do hold them accountable and send them to jail or prison, that we don't let them out of potentially a third of their sentence. Abortion rights definitely come to the forefront, given what the Supreme Court may talk about or decide on that. Uh, where are you on abortion rights, and as district or as a state attorney general, how would you defend them? How would you, uh, you know, take on that issue? Well, I'm pro-choice, but I will say this: um, California has a constitutional right for someone to have that choice. So we are very protected here in California. As the attorney general, no matter what the law is, I'm going to defend the law if the law is constitutional. Now, recently, uh, we've seen uh, Attorney General Bonta send a letter to Fresno County with concerns about their planning, particularly putting uh, the general plan ideas of warehouses, industrial uses near uh, communities of color. And he is, I don't want to say warning, but he, he expresses concern about those environmental justice implications. As state attorney general, uh, would you be getting involved in local jurisdictions uh, planning issues? And where are you on putting industrial uses near sensitive communities? I have to look at the letter he sent to the Fresno County officials. Um, I do know he's taking a very active role. Listen, we've got a, a crisis of crime in California. That's what the focus needs to be right now for me. We've got violent crime. We've got an epidemic of drug addiction, mental health, and homelessness that needs to be tackled. We've got people living under almost every overpass and that are dying in, in our streets because of fentanyl or whatever it is. So as your next attorney general, my focus will be on getting control of violent crime, getting illegal guns out of the hands of people that should not have them, felons and prohibited persons, and dealing with this epidemic of homelessness, drug addiction, mental health. So environmental justice issues, obviously a concern, but it doesn't sound like it's a top priority? I think the priority right now is needs to be crime. Listen, I, you know, I'm going to defend what the laws are, and if, if cities or municipalities are not doing what they're supposed to be doing, um, I'm going to work with them to make sure that we're complying with those laws. It doesn't mean I'm going to go out and sue them all the, you know, right away. I think we have ways to accomplish things to get to that. But we need to focus on the crime problem right now and this epidemic of drug addiction and mental health that we're all seeing. There have been allegations among the Fresno City Council about public corruption. Um, if a public corruption complaint comes across your desk, how do you plan to handle that? The same way I do it as the district attorney of Sacramento, the same way I'm sure that other district attorneys do, you follow the facts of the law. That's what we have to do, whether it's public corruption, public integrity, uh, whatever kinds of case we see, we always have to do our job, which is follow the facts in the law. And if that needs to be filed, then it gets filed. A couple of uh, quick takes on where you stand on certain issues. Uh, where are you on the death penalty? I do support the death penalty. Um, I also believe it's something that's a very rare instance. Um, the voters have time and time again said that they support the death penalty. If the voters choose to, you know, abolish it, then that's their choice. But the law, it is the law. And there are those rare circumstances where somebody, a uh, jury makes a decision that that is, the, that is what the recommendation is made. Gun rights. Uh, you know, we saw more tragedies recently in Buffalo and in Orange County. Uh, where are you on gun rights and certain people who shouldn't have guns? I support background checks for people. I... Um, I believe that we have the strictest gun laws in California, and that's the way the law is. Um, but what we're also seeing is that we're seeing guns in the hands of people that should not. I don't think there's anybody out there that thinks that criminals, felons, should have guns. So as the next AG, I'm going to make sure that the people that should not have weapons or that we're doing adequate background checks, uh, those guns are not in the hands of people that should not be in. And I know there's talk about bail reform. Where are you on that? Um, the voters of California have spoken. They want a bail system. We have a Supreme Court decision that says that judges um, cannot set bail based on ability to pay, but we do need to have a bail system so that people that are too dangerous or are not showing up to court um, can have oversight. 
you are running as no party preference. You used to be a Republican, now you're not. Can somebody in a statewide election make it to the top two without a D or R at the end of their name? Well, I'm not running unless I'm getting out of that primary. I, I am relentless. I am the choice of law enforcement across California. I've raised the most amount of money set aside Bonta. Um, I'm very proud of the support I have from people of all different walks of life. It's not a partisan issue, nor should it be. People want to feel safe, and they do not feel safe. I'm a career prosecutor. It's all I've ever done. I believe in public safety and accountability, and I'm the person that, that not only can get out of this primary, but can beat Rob Bonta in the general. They know that. You said that uh, Attorney General Bonta has used dirty tricks in his campaign. Can you explain? Uh, I'm not sure if you're, what you're referring to in terms of what, I'm, what the context is, but are you talking about the latest thing where they're paying to try to get a Republican out of the primary so they don't have to take me on? Right. Yeah, Bonta supporters are funding um, ads for one of the candidates that is unelectable in the general election. So I think it's very interesting. Um, that that's their tactic, and the tactic is because they know that Schubert is the person uh, that they're going to struggle with. What would you say, as a prosecutor, your, your toughest case has been, or your, your most prom? I mean, I think your most prominent case is the Golden State Killer case. Yeah. Would you consider that your toughest, most memorable case? I think it's up there on the top of the list in terms of um, a, a cold case that took a lot of work and innovative work to solve. But there's lots and lots of cases out there that I personally prosecuted, my office has handled. I had a case where we exonerated a guy from another county using the same tools uh, that we used on the Golden State Killer. So I've, got, I've had a lot of cases myself personally. I've tried a lot of cases. I have a case right now that I'm very upset about that I convicted a child molester uh, and it was sentenced to life in prison, but they seem to think that he should now uh, be eligible for release, despite a judge saying you're never going to get out of prison. All right, uh, Madam District Attorney, Anne-Marie Schubert. She is running for state attorney general in Fresno campaigning. I'm David Taub with GVWire.